name is Jamie Answering Teresa Bayman Grilly and today I will be your facilitator. So, ang pag-usapan natin ngayon ay ang models of communication. Every day we communicate with one another. We all know how to do it, right? Actually, not always. <laughs> to understand the ways we communicate, communication theorists have developed models that illustrate how communication takes place. In this guide, uh, we will introduce you the models of communication that are most frequently encountered in the literature. Uh, first, we will define them and explain how these models help with work workplace communication. After that, we will take a look at a major models of communication. So, ano nga ba ang models of communication? So, according to Dennis McQuail, a model is a selective representation in verbal or diagrammatic form of some aspect of the dynamic process of mass communication. So, in other words, model of communication provide us with a visual presentation of the different aspect of a communication situation. It is not easy to determine where a conversation begins and ends because communication is a complex process. That is why we have models of communication to simply the process of understanding communication. Some models are more detailed and others but even the most elaborate ones cannot perfectly represent what goes on in a communication encounter. So, paano nga ba nag-work ang models of communication? Since communication is the lifeblood of any organization, we have to um, strive towards understanding how it works. So, using communication models help us to make uh, better, better decisions and it enables us to be uh, successful communicators. So, understanding communication models can help us think about our communication situation more deliberately. Uh, pangalawa is it better prepare for our future situations. And lastly, uh, learn from our previous experiences. Do you remember the last time you had a discussion? understanding with a colleague or a friend or a family member was the miscommunication caused by a wrongly interpreted tone of a message or maybe the email you had sent to your coworker ended up in the spam so they didn't even get it whatever the misunderstanding was we have to acknowledge the fact that some communication encounters are successful, others not so much. That is why we have so many current models that help us plan a successful communication situation. So now that we have seen what communication models are and why they are important for our workplace communication, it is time uh, we take a closer look at the eight models of communication divided into three categories. First is the linear model. Uh, ang linear model, I, it only took or it only looked at one-way communication. The most prominent linear models of communications are Aristotle's models of communication, the Laswell's model, the Shannon Weaver model and the Berlos SMCR model. So, ang pangalawa is yung interactive model. Uh, they look at two-way communication. These are the following. The As Good Scrum model, the Wesley and McLean model, at yung pangato naman na model is yung transactional model. Uh, they look at a two-way communication where the message get more complex as the communication event progresses. This includes Barland's transla transactional model and Dan's Halicom model. So, explain na natin kung ano nga ba ang linear model. 
ang linear models of communication suggest that communication takes place only in one direction. So, ang main elements lang nito is the channel, the sender, and the receiver. Simply put, the sender uh, transmits the message by a channel. The channel is the medium and changes uh, the message into speech, writing, or kaya naman ay animation. The message then reaches uh, the receiver who decodes it. This model is straightforward and is uh, used mainly in marketing, sales, and PR in communication with customers. So, tapos na tayo sa linear model. Ang susunod naman natin is the uh, interactive communication model. It is a more dy dynamic model. Interactive models of communication refer to a two-way communication with feedback. However, feedback is not simultaneous but rather slow and indirect. Uh, interactive models are used in internet-based and med mediated communication. Uh, let's take a look at the main elements of this model. First is the sender, the message, the receiver, the feedback, and the field of experience. You probably noticed the new previously not seen element, which is the field of experience. The field of experience represents a person's culture, past experience, and personal history. All of these factors influence how a sender constructs a message, as well how the receiver takes it. Every one of us brings a unique field of experience into communication situation. Last but definitely not the least, ang ating transactional mother, models. <laughs> it is the most dynamic communication model. So, ito naman yung mga key components niya. Encoding, decoding, communicators, the message, the channel, and the noise. Uh, in this model, communication is viewed as a transaction, meaning that it is a co operative process in which communicators or a uh, communicators is a new term for sender and receiver which first appears in this model uh, communicators co-create the process of communication thereby influencing its outcomes and effectiveness so in other words communicators create a shared meaning in a dynamic process aside from that uh, transactional models show that we do not just exchange information during our interactions, but create relationships from cross-cultural bonds and shape our opinions. So, in other words, communication helps us establish our realities. These models also introduce the roles of social, relational, and cultural context. Moreover, these models acknowledge that there are barriers to effective communication, which is the noise. Communication in real life is too complex to be truly represented by communication models, but they help us examine the steps in process of communication so we can better understand how we communicate both at the workplace and outside of it. Uh, let's sum up the key, the key takeaways from this uh, discussion. So, in this discussion, we have covered the most important models of communication divided into three categories. So, yun nga yung linear model, which is, uh, they see communication in a one-way process. These are mainly used in marketing, sales, and PR, uh, in communication with customers. So, ang pangalawang model natin is the interactive model. This is used in internet-based and mediated communication. They refer in two-way communication with indirect feedback. So, the last model is the transactional model. As most dy dynamic communication model, these are the most complex models of communication which best reflect the communication process. Although none of these models represent our communication 100%, they can help us detect 
and solve potential problems and improve our overall communication skills. So that's all for today. I hope you learned something new. Thank you. Bye.